Good evening and welcome to our evening prayers for Friday the 1st of March. This is of course St David's Day, so any of you with Welsh heritage, um, then happy St David's Day. But um, tonight we are turning our eyes to Palestine and using materials prepared for the World Day of Prayer, which is also today's date. And that was one of them. Um, that is um, the song specially composed for this year's World Day of Prayer. Um, I urge you, and it quotes Ephesians, I urge you to be patient with the calling you receive, bearing one another with love and unity. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. I will meditate on all your acts and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who works wonders and have declared your power among the peoples. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Before we dig further into the World Day of Prayer materials, let's just share um, Tom's meditation for the third Friday in Lent, which is based on a single verse from Mark's Gospel, chapter 4, verse 40. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? 
Never fear, Jesus, we have plenty of faith. But because it is found in all the Bibles we keep, in the jewellery we store in the box on the dresser, in the dress-up clothes we put on for Sunday, in the songs we sing in church and listen to on our devices, it doesn't seem to be enough to keep our knees from turning to jelly in these days in which we are living or being overturned by the flood of tears swamping our souls. The flood of tears swamping our souls. Tom so eloquently captures the malaise of living in these times. But how much more immediate is that flood of tears, a flood of fears, if you are living in a country under attack, Ukraine or Israel or Palestine? Today is World Day of Prayer, which is an international interchurch organization led by women, which enables us to hear the thoughts of those women from all parts of the world, their hopes, concerns and prayers. But this year, long before the current crisis in Gaza, the Christian women of Palestine have been approached to create the materials um, in which they invite us to pray for peace, justice and freedom of religion and movement asking us to pray for women, refugees, the sick, dying and grieving. If you're like me, you maybe didn't know a great deal about the Christian communities of Palestine and its women. It's certainly a community that tends to be overlooked in the current news coverage. Here's what the World Day of Prayer website says about them. It says, there's a perception around the world that women in the Middle East region are passive, silent and non-influential. However, the role of women in Palestine, both historically and in modern times, is active and influential. They're strong, steadfast and courageous. Although Palestinian women have played an influential role in society, there's still room for better conditions. It says, recently, some Protestant churches have progressed on gender issues, such as ordaining Sally Azar as the first Palestinian female pastor in Palestine. The theme of the World Day of Prayer service this year is based on Ephesians 4, verses 1 to 6. I beg you, bear with one another in love, as we heard sung. And they've made this statement. They said the service was written by a group of Palestinian Christian women before the current conflict and gives examples of their own personal experiences. Their hope was to encourage and inspire other women around the world to bear with one another in troubled times. As has often happened before, this year's service has been overtaken by a tragic set of events. Nevertheless, they still offer this service, believing that we are called to support the Christian women who created it. We pray with world leaders, relief workers, medical teams and all those praying about the situation for an end to the killing and for the wisdom to build a lasting peace. So let's hear that passage from Ephesians chapter 4. One to seven, in fact. As a prisoner for the Lord, then, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and patient. Sorry, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. It says in that passage, Paul urges the Ephesians to live a life worthy of the calling they received, which is as people united with one another through Christ's saving work, bearing with one another. This calling is not easy. It requires patience, self-denial and love. Paul reminds the Ephesians to be united in one spirit by the hope they share in Christ. And so we Christians spread out throughout the world can also find our unity and hope in this text. Here are some words of commitment from the World Day of Prayer service. May we commit 
to working for peace as we stand with all women, particularly those experiencing oppression, violence or discrimination. May we be faithful advocates in all levels of society and church life. May we bear with one another in love. Let us be agents of peace and justice. Amen. Time for some more music. And this is a composition um, from Palestine for the World Day of Prayer called Your Word Leads the Path. Um, if I click on the right one. And I'll try and post the words into the chat for you to read as well.
the word lights the path. Let us pray. Loving God, walk with us as we journey through the land where you lived and taught. Open our eyes to see the present suffering of the inhabitants of this land. Grant us the strength and courage to act and pray with all who suffer around the world. Let us praise God who brings us together to worship in love and unity, unifying God, reigning far above our earthly differences in views and theology. Help us remember these essential qualities of faith, humility, gentleness, patience and love. We confess our weakness and failure to accept others without judging them. We endeavour to be humble and patient as we face challenges in our families, society, community and church. With gentleness and love, we can overcome difficulties. We remain strong in our faith, knowing that we belong to God. Amen. For our intercessions tonight, we will have our normal intercessions and pray for those known to us. But I thought we should also um, have the intercessory prayers from the World Day of Prayer. But just to um, make it not just my voice, um, I have found um, the Women's Interchurch Council of Canada who recorded their service for the day. Um, and so let's, let's hear them speak the intercessions. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, we now pray for women everywhere, for the world and for those in need. After each petition, you will hear me pray, lead us into a life worthy of our calling. You are invited to respond, hear our prayer. Let us pray. God of righteousness, bless us and make us witnesses of peace and justice. Open our eyes so we can see things as you do. Protect us from all forms of violence, hurt, and revenge. We pray especially for women who are denied education and other basic rights. We pray for women who are abused and suffer violence. We pray that our churches, as well as our governments, will create safe places for women. Help us raise our voices and use our gifts and talents to help others. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear our prayer. Refugee God, who as a child had to flee a massacre in Bethlehem, you know the plight of refugees and the displaced. Remain with us and help us in these dark and difficult times. Guide and protect refugees and displaced people. Bring them to places of safety. Open the hearts of those receiving refugees and guide the actions of political leaders so that all needs will be met. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our rock, you have taught us to build our lives on you. We pray for those who are homeless. We pray especially with Palestinian families whose homes have been demolished or under threat of demolition by Israeli authorities. Bring these families justice and end this cruel practice. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear yeah, our okay. prayer. God of peace, we pray for a just solution to the ongoing conflict. We also pray for the city of Jerusalem, sacred to three religions of Christianity, Judaism and Islam. We pray for equality, freedom of religion, freedom of movement, and freedom of expression. Teach us as Christians to follow the way of Jesus, sharing love with all the inhabitants of the land. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear our prayer. Healer and sustaining spirit, we pray for all those who are sick, 
who are dying and who are grieving. When we are lost and weary, strengthen us. Revive our dry branches so that they yield good fruits again. Give us new life and the hope of resurrection. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. God of mercy, we have carelessly destroyed your beautiful creation. We have harmed the environment, the flora and fauna, and the creatures of the air, land, and water. Our destruction of the earth has caused the climate crisis. Help us to appreciate and love your creation. Help us to repair what we have destroyed. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear our prayer. God of unity, your child, Jesus, prayed that your disciples and followers would be one as you are one. Teach us, your servants, to treat others justly, fairly, and with love, even though we may speak, live, and pray differently. Bless the global church and bless the faithful women everywhere who share your good news with others. Lead us into a life worthy of our calling. Hear our prayer. How can we thank you, loving God? We know that all our blessings come from you. Do not keep us far from you. Give us grace according to the measure of Christ's gift and fill our hearts with joy. We offer these prayers and the prayers of our hearts known only to you, trusting that you hear and answer them. In the name of God, Creator, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We will now... Slight technical glitch there. Important, I think, to hear the leadership of women when a World Day of Prayer is led by women. Um, But let's turn to our regular prayers of intercession. Let us complete our evening sacrifice of praise in the love of God. For the unity and peace of the Holy Church of God throughout the world, asking your blessing on this St. David's Day for the members, elders and ministers of the United Reformed Church National Synod of Wales, as well as those, as we do every Friday night, of Nottinghamshire. And on this World Day of Prayer, for the Christian women and men of Palestine and every nation, we pray to the Lord. For the peace and stability of all peoples and for those in authority, as we have prayed about the occupied Palestinian territory and Israel, we pray also for those caught up in other zones of war and violence and humanitarian distress in the world. And on this day, when we mark the burial in Russia of Alexei Navalny, we pray that despots may fall, that those who govern may rule in wisdom and compassion, and that the captives may be set free, especially political prisoners and every kind of prisoner of conscience, as well as those held hostage and those corralled in refugee camps that we may learn to bear one another with love and unity, we pray to the Lord. For our own country and its national life, and for all who live among us, praying that all those of good will who seek sanctuary in our land may find welcome, work and well-being, and that we may learn to bear one another with love and unity, we pray to the Lord for a blessing on our homes, for our relations and friends and all whom we love, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and the suffering and for all who minister to their needs, praying tonight for Graham Galeb following surgery, giving thanks for the medical team and praying for his recovery. For the Reverend Caroline Andrews, for Roger Allen and for the Reverend Ruth Allen in her care and concern for him. For the Reverend Patrick Lidget. 
with Brenda Kenyon for Ron Kenyon, with Celia for her grandson Alfie, but he continues to do well as he prepares for another minor surgery this month, with Alison for her parents, the Reverend Brian Russell and Dorothy Russell, for the Reverend Helen Wakefield Carr for recovery from cancer treatment, for the Reverend Liz Adams, the Reverend Hamish Temple, for Jean Schenk, and for the Reverend Brian Schenk in his care and concern for her, for the Reverend Graham and Vera Maskery, for Moynier's parish priest, Father Andy, for Barbara Turner, for Janet Coxon in their recoveries, with Ankatea for her friend Bea, with the Reverend Claire and Reverend Brian Davison for their daughter Susie, for Cheryl and for Prince and the family in their ongoing care for her, with Andy for his dad Mike and for Liz and Ruth in their ongoing care of him, for John and for Irene as she continues to look after him and for any and all others known to each of us, we pray to the Lord. For all who sleep in Christ, that Christ will remember them in his heavenly kingdom, praying especially tonight for those who grieve for Jean Davison, especially her son, Brian Davison, the Reverend Brian Davison and the family. For those who grieve for Norma Bradshaw, widow of the Reverend Tony Bradshaw, especially her family and our church at Wellingborough. For those who grieve for the Reverend Cecil Macaulay, especially his wife Pat. For those who grieve for Don Buxton, especially the Reverend Maureen Buxton. For all who grieve for Bishop Alan Wilson, especially his wife Lucy and the family. And for all who grieve the passing of loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, we commend our whole life into the hands of God. Amen. Traditionally, we finish with the Lord's Prayer, and so we shall tonight. But again, um, using materials from the World Day of Prayer, who have given us um, the Lord's Prayer, sung in Aramaic, the language of Christ himself, to uh, a Syriac melody. So if I can just cue that up, um, we will please feel free to say the Lord's Prayer in English um, as it is sung in Aramaic.
thank you for joining me for these special prayers tonight from St. Andrew of Castlegate in Nottingham. And so the Lord bless us with his grace and fill us with his peace. Amen. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.